emotions are like right now that this is official and and uh, you're wearing that Royals jersey? Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's it's a little surreal. You know, you sit up here. It's something that, like JJ alluded to, I've gone through some processes and uh, to finally get one of the positions. I think it was just the right time and the right place, the right organization for me and, and for hopefully for them as well. So it's a little surreal, but it's also really exciting. Before I unleash HUD, let me just do this real quick. Um, you, you already know. Come on. Uh, Quatrero, yes. right? All right. Now, we might have said Quatrero at some point, but we're going to get that right because we're going to say it every single day. And I'm guessing uh, eventually we'll get to a point of just Q. Is That's that fine? You can do that today. All right. Let's go with that. HUD, talk to Q. It's exciting, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't contain myself. But to feel the energy of my fellow comrades in the media here, today was pretty special now to be a big league manager you have to have some experience in my opinion of managing and you've had that in the minor leagues you 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 managed you were hitting instructors down there you bounced around for several years down there how's that gonna help you become a, a big league skipper you know I think I think when I stand back and look at what I've done as a coach and a player and things I, I I've never shoehorned myself into one thing I, I was a coach I was a manager I coached third base in winter ball and I've just tried to learn every step of the way, you know, and never like positioning for the next job. Just do the best job you can in what you're doing. And if other opportunities open up, you, you pursue them if they're of interest. And I think all of those experiences put together are going to help me do well at this job. And I talk about those experiences. I know you had a chance to work with Kevin Cash and Terry Francona. You mentioned that uh, during a conference. How impactful were they and you being here today? Extremely. And they continue to be, and they will continue to be. I mean, I think, you know, I remember when Cashy got the job in Tampa, Tito, we opened the season that year in Houston, and Tito's like, I feel like I'm managing two games every night, you know, like <laughs> just because of the care that they had for each other. And, and I think we all share that. Um, and, and those are just two names of the people that have impacted me. Those are the most obvious recent ones that are very at the top of their profession. Um, but there have just been countless others that, that have been supportive and continue to be supportive. All right, last one for me. You, you step into a role where you have Bobby Witt Jr. and MJ Melendez and an Old Dominion product like yourself, Vinny Pasquantino. The list goes on and on. I'm not telling you anything you didn't know before you applied for this job. When you think about all that talent, what do you think about? Yeah, I mean, you talk about exciting. That That's what you want, right? Is You want a base to start with. And, you know, I think it's, it's hard to mention just a few names yeah. because you leave somebody out. And, and there's, like I said, it's not a 26-man roster that you win with during the year. It's 40. It's more, you know, it's, who knows how many you're going to need. So... Uh, all of these guys are going to be important, and there's names that we don't even know yet. They're going to play huge roles coming up. Matt, with all your vast uh, catching experience, how do you teach strike one? Yeah, good question. I mean, I think you've seen the, the teams that have been best at creating strike one the last several years are also the teams that have a close relationship with the catching department and you've seen the teams like the Dodgers and Houston and everybody is starting to migrate to the middle of the plate with their setups and their targets and that's not always an easy transition for people to to accept but that's the number one thing in my mind when you bring that up. Matt we've got a great group of young players and you've had a chance to see a lot of those players from the other side and if you're looking at a time frame for this young group uh, we saw a lot of these players uh, during the course of last season do you envision a lot of these players uh, being uh, on this club to start the season great question uh, I'm not sure you know again they're all in different stages of their career those are discussions we have not had yet behind you know it, through the interview process so I wouldn't feel real comfortable speculating on the roster right now well, it'll be here before we know it. And, of course, you're already, I'm sure, knee-deep in it with a lot of decisions, coaching staff. So we'll look forward to that. We'll look forward to seeing you every day here and on the road. Uh, I, I know, Hud, Hud, you can have the last word. I know you're ready for the season what? to start tomorrow, right? Come on, man. What an exciting moment for you. Your young boys. Are we going to see them at the ballpark, too? I hope so, yeah. Man, I mean, we're gonna... way to go. Congratulations, especially. We all know how important the wives are on our teams. Yeah. They do everything. Yeah. You got emotional when you talked about about her yeah. that was special yeah dude right here is where i like it <laughs> see now 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 he's now he's officially a kansas city royal he's been indoctrinated by hud it's not like he walked in and said who's this hudler character everybody knows but um we're we're so excited for you we're excited to work with you we're excited for kansas city congratulations and we're looking forward to, to many many years appreciate it thank you guys very much